Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Logan with West Desert Shooter. We're out here at the range. I am testing the Tracked Toric Ultra HD 34 millimeter. And this one is a mil scope. So mil turrets, mil reticle. It has got their PRS reticle in here, which I gotta say is quite nice. I really like the holdovers available with it. On top of that, the magnification range is 4.5 to 30. So a ton of magnification range on this thing from low power four and a half, get those close shots if you're doing a quick hunting shot, all the way up to 30 if you really wanna zoom in on your target and try and see some bullet holes at distance. So today I've got a target set up at 100 yards, which is cardboard, and then we've got a steel target set up at 700 yards. My plan is, is to shoot a group at 100 and 700. Here's the catch. I'm going to dial from 100 to 700. So I'm gonna shoot at 100, shoot at a 700, dial back down to 100, go one shot at a time, and create a group on each target. It is a little bit windy out here today, so the majority of what we're gonna be looking for is vertical. We wanna make sure that this scope is going up correctly and back down correctly. Enough talking, let's get to it. Let's shoot around at 100, then I will dial up and shoot out to 700. Take my glasses off to truly appreciate the clarity of this shot hd glass this glass is excellent one thing i've noticed on the tract is the uh, parallax on it is very crisp there's a narrow window to really make sure everything's focused in and not only that it's calibrated extremely well with what the uh, parallax ring says so right at 100 on the turret it says 100 and that's where it looks the clearest which is uh, pretty impressive that's hard to do so good job tract Settled in on target. Put a little bit of preload on the bipod. Level. Okay, guys, here we go. Awesome. Very close to zero. It just left at the little point that I drew. Now let's dial it up to 3.2 mils. One, two. Now I gotta figure out my wind out here. Make sure we're level. Maybe holding too much wind. Just gonna go right edge. Impact, 700 yards. I overcorrected for wind and ended up shooting off the right edge. So now, let's bring it back down to zero from 3.2 mils. And then let's shoot another round at our cardboard here. Make sure my position's the same, get the same preload on the bipod, rifle's level. Got to change my parallax again, down to 100. There we go. Back to 3.2. Let's bring our parallax back up. Check level. Rifle is level. Wind call. Right edge. Getting more mirage out there this time. Here we go. Impact. Wow, 
last shot to confirm zero. Bring it back down to zero. Back down to 100. And then we're gonna go take a look at our targets. trigger pull felt good let's go take a look at these guys all right guys as you can see i've got my truck and firing position right over there taking a look at the cardboard box man that's a nice group that that thing put together four of those shots are almost perfectly in line with each other left to right it is windy and then this one just about a quarter inch low which is actually kind of normal for this gun so if we take a look at this which is between dialing all those elevations and what I did to confirm my zero today, I actually shot a better group despite doing all the breaking of the position, taking my head off the rifle, adding ammo into the rifle, everything going against me. I shot a better group and the tract put it right on target where it needed to be with great tracking that I've come to expect from tract. And at 700 yards, we have our target sitting out here. It appears that my ballistic chart was a little bit off in the fact that it hit a bit low on the target. However, we got two right on top of each other, and then we've got this one here. The water line, there's about two inches spread, like top to bottom on those, which tells me that the scope was repeatedly tracking to this point. So, like I say, I'm pretty sure it was my ballistic chart. Uh, I was holding my center line on my crosshair, mid torso here, although I don't have an exact aiming point on this, I just try and cut it in half as best I can. Three impacts, two touching, 700 yards, I'm not going to complain about that.